Hello, hello. Good morning. Um, I, I want to kind of go over some of these with you um, from your packet. I'm going to follow the pacing guide that was posted on this Google Classroom. It's just a suggestion. You do not have to do what I am doing if your parents would like to do something else or you feel like you don't need to follow along with me. That is fine. If you ever feel like certain lessons you would like to come back, everything on Google Classroom will be titled corresponding to um, the titles in your packet. Okay, so let's go over what a ratio is first. Ratios are just a way to compare two quantities. So we compare in this um, here, we're comparing tennis balls to tennis rackets. So that would be considered a part to part ratio. Right, we're comparing one part of something to another part. Now, a part to whole ratio is this one similar to a fraction. Fractions, we're comparing some kind of part to a whole, so a whole circle or a whole pizza. Um, so with these two, sometimes you have to figure out, am I doing a part to whole or a part to part? Um, in this case, they ask for both. So if you look, what is the ratio of tennis balls to tennis rackets? Now, in order to write a ratio, there's different formats people use. All right, we can use the colon, which you will see they use that form here. All right, so I could say uh, three cats to five dogs. Um, the fraction bar, so ratios are very similar to fractions, or the word two. All right, so we could say three to five. Um, also, order matters with ratios. The order that they want uh, the numbers is the order that they list the word. So tennis balls here is listed first. So I would put the tennis ball number first and then the three after it, whether it be a fraction bar, the colon, or the word two. Um, my kids, you should have notes on this. So number two is similar. Now they're giving you the whole right away. There's 18 shark teeth in total. Six of them are tiger shark. Um, eight are sand shark and then the rest are bull shark. So there's that extra step where you might have to do some subtraction there to figure out that missing piece. All right, so now that we want you to give the word, so what does the six represent compared to the eight? Um, and then four to 18, I don't see a four listed there, so you're gonna have to do some problem solving. All right, the last question, if you watch the Khan Academy videos, um, it'll kind of go more into the part to part, part to whole. Remember the links are in the pacing guide, so go up to the post before this, um, and that will be there, okay? If you have any more questions about ratios, watch the videos first that I posted. If you're still stuck, comment below this. I will help you on this page um, with whatever you need, and I will also be posting a freckle um, optional assignment if you would like to do some extra practice with ratios today. All right. Have a great day, everyone. I'll be posting the equivalent ratio video next.